after the waterfall, trail levels out for a bit. Makes for some really easy going. It's been in the forest for the most part. Well, now we start uphill again. But it's some beautiful surroundings to surround us as we're probably surrounded with sweat at this point. Oh, here comes a trail runner. Let's get it out of the way. Hey there. All right, we're at 1.7 miles up. Little detour. Here's the main trail. Take a small little detour here. We're at 10,669 feet. We'll walk over here. See if we can see that waterfall that we hear over there. It's just a short little detour, but sometimes these little detours are really, ooh, are really cool. Isn't that awesome? There's one dead tree right there. It's, it wasn't there. This could maybe make the perfect photo. But I'm gonna photograph it anyways. It still should make a good photo. Just kind of thread my way through this foreground. That'll be blurry if I'm focusing in the back. Let's see what's over on this side. Oh, here's the spot. Here's the spot. Just had to step over here on these rocks. Being careful, since I got about 40 pounds on my back. All right, time for a photo break. All right, we're two and a half miles in. We're at 11,000 feet. Trail goes up this way. It's still really steep switchbacks here. This little log across the road or across the trail, we'll make a good stopping point. We can sit down for a few minutes and take a load off our feet if you choose. Or you can just keep going up and up and up. Three miles up brings us to this view. See the people that are taking a break there? It looks like a nice rest stop with an awesome view. And we are going to continue on some more. It says we're at 11,330 feet. We are getting close. Looks like this is going to open up to a nice view when we get up here. Yeah, look at this. And the trail ahead looks so beautiful, surrounded by these wildflowers. Very inviting to continue to climb up. All right, we come to a fork in the road. How beautiful this looks. To the left is to the Ice Lake Basin, lower basin. Excuse me, I'm eating some beef jerky. To the right here. You can see if you look right up there, it's trail to Island Lakes. It's a little easier. Overall, it's a little easier. If you're just going to the lower basin, this isn't too bad to go this way. But when you're going from the basin up to Ice Lake itself, that's when it gets really steep and some switchbacks going up because you have to climb up a ridge. And I've always gone this way. So today we're going to be different. We're going to go to Island Lake and see if what everybody says is true, that it's easier to go counterclockwise because it's like a loop that goes through here. We will find out. First, let me take a few photos right here, and then we'll get back on the trail. Well, I'm debating still whether this is easier or not. I'm not sure if the people who say it's easier to go counterclockwise are equating lack of switchbacks with easiness. 
because it goes up pretty steep. But it's probably half of one thing and six, wait, wait, no, six of one thing and half a dozen of another. See some nice columbine right here. Look at that, look how beautiful that looks. So it's been pretty steep so far up here, but I think it's leveling off after we go up here a little bit further. I'll let you know. So it has leveled off here a little bit. See a parking lot right over those rocks there. Well, it's getting steeper. Well, it's finally leveled off. And looks like we go up to the right a little bit, but we have got to be close. I can hear it. I can smell it. Ooh, Iron Lake, I think, is right up in there. Look at this beautiful area as we hike up. Here's the trail. There's some people coming down. Look at these beautiful wildflowers here with this drainage. Mountains up ahead. We're going back up again. You can see we've got to go way up there. So I really don't think that this is easier. Not at this point. But it's there. It's definitely steep here, but it's also equally beautiful. I'm going to take a few photos while I'm taking a break. Yeah, it's looking down. A little bit of a slippery, steep section there. It's not that bad, actually, but you can slip and just be careful. It was made worse because we had a traffic jam with a couple with three dogs and a, another couple with one dog. And they all were getting very excited and it all happened down in that one spot where they're trying to cross. And so it made for some exciting times. We're getting up there. We are getting there. That's where we came from. And this is where we're going. Taking this part really slow. There's just, look at just wildflowers all over. There's a couple little creeks coming down through here. Doing some Shots with paths, trails with the wildflowers. Uh, just, just a million photographic opportunities here. Probably heard of the Million Dollar Highway. I might just name this the Million Flower Trailway. It is that awesome. We are almost there. You can see some people up there over by Island Lake. Kind of leveled off. We're at 12,300 feet. We're like 4.3 miles in. That's the way we came. This section is just so beautiful. Almost to Island Lake. All right, a little fork in the trail again. You can go either way. Right one takes you to one side of the lake, and the one on the left takes you kind of the bottom of the lake, what I'd call the bottom. That's the way I'm going. Just incredible 360 views here. Here we have Island Lake. A little windy, so you can't see the reflections very good. You can see the island right there. Should have videoed. I already started to come down, but if you just go up on this hill right here, what's really kind of cool is then the island gets separated. So you don't see the land behind it. You got actually see water all the way around the island. Just a little thing, but I like it. 
All right, on to Ice Lake.